Chilling video released of the moments chaos erupted at Cook's Corner and Tribuco Canyon as an intense gun battle unfolded between law enforcement and the shooter. Welcome to the Fox 11 News at 5. I'm Christine Devine. I'm Alex Michelson. Fox 11's Phil Schumann has a look at the video. Some viewers might find this disturbing, but Phil, the law enforcement response here is very efficient. Efficient is one word to describe it, no question. As you can imagine, the body-worn camera video released by the Orange County Sheriff's Department in an edited 21-minute presentation, which is available on YouTube, by the way, is chilling. That's the best word for it. Uh, it's an expletive-filled commands of the deputies to drop the gun. They went unheated. It was a five-minute shootout, and it wasn't over till the gunman was dead. August 23rd, just after 7 p.m., they call this a critical incident video. Shooting demands the highest level of scrutiny and rightfully is a matter of public concern. There goes some more gunshots. There's more gunshots. There's, there's more gunshots happening right now. You're behind the wheel with an Orange County Sheriff's deputy. This is his body-worn camera view as first responders race to Cook's Corner within minutes of calls of an active shooter. You see the suspect circled in red. Great pick up the shot. Shots fired. I got it. 457 shots fired. Deputies arm themselves with their semi-automatic assault weapons. Within five seconds of their arrival, the suspect shot at the deputies. The gunman firing at them from behind a tree with two handguns and a shotgun. Let me see your hands! Deputies exchanged gunfire with the suspect for more than five minutes. By that time, the gunman had already shot and killed three people. Glenn Sproul, John Leahy, and Tonya Clark and wounded his estranged wife, Marie, and five others. As the exchange of gunfire continued, one deputy had a question quickly dismissed. When the barrage of gunfire from the suspect stopped, on your left. Spread out. Spread out, spread out. a team of deputies cautiously advanced, found the shooter down and dead. You can see him on the ground in blue. This guy right here, this is gunman right here, this is gunman. He's got a shotgun right there, by his feet. Shotgun by his feet, this is it, this is him. He was John Snowling, a former Ventura police sergeant. The sheriff simply said he was dead of multiple gunshot wounds. Now, there are multiple investigations ongoing into tactics, police procedures, sheriff's procedures, so forth. Uh, the DA's office, first and foremost, but at this point, we really can't imagine any issues as far as that goes. Now, all the wounded are said to be recovering. Uh, Marie Snowling, uh, as far as we can tell, has maintained her silence and hasn't talked about this you, so far. You watched the whole video, I'm yeah. sure, and I know they train for this, but to right. ever be actually in, it has to right. be just so chilling. Yeah, they train for that, uh, mm -hmm. but when it comes time to for the real thing, you wonder if they can answer the call, and, and they did in this case. A lot of criticism about police, you know, in various cities and various situations, uh, but when you call 911, they come. Quite something to watch it from their perspective like that, literally, Phil. Thank you so much.